Good morning children. Today I will be showing you how to work with the strip board. The strip board we use it for learning addition. So you call it as addition strip board. And with this board you can do only addition. You cannot do subtraction. There is a separate board for that. That is called subtraction strip board. Now we are going to focus only on addition using the addition strip board. I want you to take a look at the material. The addition strip board consists of a board with the numbers 1 to 18 and you have square boxes in it. There will be a line going right after 10. You can see that it is in red color. The numbers 1 to 10 will be in red and the rest of the numbers will be in blue. Along with this in a box you will find blue strips and red strips. The blue strips are ranging from 1 to 9 and the red strips also start from 1 all the way up to 9. The only difference is the red will have lines on them. See? Do you see the line on it? There are two parts in this. If I take the strip of 9, there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 parts in this. Now generally when you do a sum, we will take random combinations like example 4 plus 3. I bring 4 and 3. 4 plus 3. The first number will always be in blue color. Now your answer will be 4. After 4, 5, 6, 7. You see it ends in 7. That is why you have these parts here. 4 after 4. 5, 6, 7 and you find the number right here. Let's try another. Let's try 6 plus 7. 6 plus 7. 6 plus 7. After 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It ends right at 13. So next time if you want you can count through to confirm or you can look right here on the board for the answer. Let me give you one more sum. 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6. Now you can already tell me the answer is 11. 5 plus 6 equals to 11. You can also confirm it. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You can also try and find out the different combinations of 10. Like for example, 1 and what will give me 10? You see that? 1 and 9 gives me 10. 2 and 8 gives me 10. 3 and 7 gives me 10. 4 and 6 gives me 10. 5 and 5 gives me 10. Again you can continue. 6 plus what will give me 10? 6 plus 2, 3, 4. 6 and 4 gives me 10. You will notice that you have already done 4 and 6 gives me 10. So 6 and 4 also gives me 10. 
Let's continue. 7 and 3 gives me 10. Just the same way that 3 and 7 gives me 10, 7 and 3 also gives me 10. 8. 8 and 2 gives me 10. Just the way 2 and 8 gives me 10. 9 and 1 gives me 10. Just the way 1 and 9 gives me 10. Now you can record these answers in your notebook. I had just now shown you all the combinations of 10. Learning the combinations of 10 is very important. That's why we finish it first. In the same way, you can also find combinations of different number also. Let's say I need to find out the combination of 8s. Okay. So let us see. 1 and what will give me 8? 1. After that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1 and 7 will give me 8. 2 and what will give me 8? 2 and 6 will give me 8. Next. 3 and what will give me 8? You can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 and 4. 5 will give me 8. Next. 4 and what will give me 8? 4 and 4 will give me 8. Continuing further. Just like how we got 3 plus 5 is 8. You will get 5 plus 3 is also 8. 1, 2, 3. The same as this. 3 plus 5 is 8. 5 plus 3 is also 8. 6 plus 2 also gives me 8. Just the way 2 plus 6 gives me 8. 7 plus 1 also gives me 8. Just the same way 1 plus 7 gives me 8. So these are the combinations for you to get 8. Okay. In the same way, just like how we did 10 and 8, you can find out the different combinations for 6 or 5 or 9 or any other number on this strip board. This is how we find out the number bonds which are there, the exercise which is there in our workbook. Number bonds for 10, number bonds for 5, number bonds for 3 and so on. Will you all try it at home? I want you to try and make strips of papers with red and blue. You have to remember that the red will have parts in it. Like for example, if you are going to have 7, I should have 7 parts in it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And all these parts must match with the lines on this board. You also have to remember the board has numbers 1 to 18 with numbers up to 10 in red and a red line just after 10. Every time you do an addition, I want you to Arrange these strips in this manner. 1 to 9, blue on this side and red on this side. You will be able to count your answer and find it with the red strips. And one more thing. After you have finished your activity, you have to wind up by placing it in the box. I am sure you all know how to wind up. Let me show you how it's done.
when children are arranging the strips back into the box also they will be seeing the combinations of additions will you all try it at home it is little easy only once you have to take the effort of making it but by repeatedly doing the sums again and again you will be remembering the combinations like how you remember the tables of multiplication in the same way you can even make tables of addition the addition table of 7 the addition table of 8 and the addition table of 9 and so on and so forth will you all try it at home okay good luck to you thank you